making a square document. Uh, I can scale it later if I want to. SRGB. There we go. Make some guides to help me. Find the center point. It's 400 by 400. Uh, place in an image that I want to use. Something random. A little larger. There we go. Then tool to create my path. Actually, I can instead use maybe just a rectangle tool. There. Free transform. Anchor point in the bottom left corner. So as you can see, the coordinates are perfectly centered. Give it an angle. Or to rotate it that way, maybe. Doesn't matter. Confirm. Now I know that the angle here is perfect. Grab that corner. Snap to there. Now a perfect slice. I can use this path as a mask for this one, or I could simply use it as a clipping mask. Doesn't matter. I'll just use it as a clipping mask for now. That gives me more layers, but uh, it was quicker. All right, so we have one slice. Uh, let us duplicate that. Free transform. Now we need to move the anchor point to the center. So see up here it's not perfect, so I'll just type it in 400 by 400. Flip vertical, because you wanted those mirrored slices. Select all the layers again, duplicate, free transform, move this to the center, type in 400 by 400, flip horizontal. There we go. Select all of them. If you want to, you could group them, so it's a bit cleaner in the layers panel. Duplicate, free transform. Hold down shift to snap to 90 degrees angles. Duplicate, free transform. 45 degrees. Return to confirm the transformation. Uh, okay, I didn't have quite enough there, so I'll just make it a bit tighter crop on the image. There we go. Perfect. As you can see, perfect fake gaps. Uh, uh, turn off the pixel grid. They're partially transparent. None of them are completely transparent. So now I could either duplicate all of these again, but to make the document a bit lighter, I'll just turn it into a smart object. Duplicate. As you can see, the layers the lines become fainter. I could just duplicate it several times, that way I get rid of the lines. Or I could try to duplicate once, take the one at the back, rotate it slightly. That gets rid of most of it, but you get a little bit of a star in the middle. I'll just duplicate the front one a couple of times. Perfect. Um, and I totally forgot. Uh, this also means since everything's smart objects, I could go in here, double click the image, and I could replace it with something else easily. Maybe some horses. Or sky, I guess it'll mostly be. And it will update in this main ob document. Close and save. And it'll update in the main document. Nice and simple. If I want to change the size, double click, resize this smart object to, I don't know, 3000 by 3000. Resamples. You can see we still have the only a half a pixel gap. Now it's much larger. Close and save. A 
update in this newly cropped this document instead. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Now instead of 800 by 800, it's 1590 by 1590. It's a nice hairy star.